the Lucid uh, dismount tool, mount dismount tool, comes with an aluminum uh, centering cone that mounts on the post of the Harbor Freight uh, tire changer and centers the rim onto the tool. Now the issue I had was that the size, the maximum size of this cone is I think about 70, just about 75 millimeters. So if you've got a wheel with a larger center bore than that, then this cone doesn't work and you have to rely on the spider that comes with the Harbor Freight tool, um, which isn't, uh, isn't great for centering I found. So I wanted to get some cones that are a little bit larger bore. There are a bunch of these sets of cones, as this one shown here, available on eBay um, for amazingly um, cheap prices. I think it's like $40 for a set of four, this one larger one that I've got over here. Um, the problem is that these are designed for a uh, wheel balancer in the inner bore is 40 millimeters or just about yeah, very very close to 40 millimeters and the shaft size on the Harbor Freight tire changer is about 42 millimeters the cone that's provided by Lucid measures about let me get at the maximum diameter here measures about 40 it was about 42.9 before I hit it about 42.9 millimeters so the question is is there an easy way for somebody that doesn't own a milling machine to bore out the center of the centering cones from about a 40 millimeter to about a 43 millimeter so that means I have to go about a millimeter and a half on a side uh, so I uh, wish I had a milling machine to do that, but since I don't, um, I wanted to try using a uh, carbide uh, burr on a drill press. We're using the drill press to keep it centered, and then just go slowly around. And what I'm thinking is, this doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Even if my boring was completely off-center, you know, a millimeter and a half or so, um, completely offset, I think it would still work fine and I think I can probably get it closer than that so I figured I'd make a video of it just in case other people uh, want to do the same thing these are a great buy and it's nice to make the tire changer more versatile so here's my setup I've got the carbide burr and the drill press and the drill press set at the maximum speed which is I think about 3600 rpms in my case which is really slow for the burr so I'm going to have to take it pretty slow, I think, which I would anyway. And if you're a real stickler for, you know, using tools 100% correctly, you might not like the idea of doing this. So you might not want to watch further. But I'm just going to take it slow and easy and um, see if I can gradually expand the bore. And I w I'm just going to do it by hand and um, try to keep an eye on it visually. And like I said, I don't think it matters too much if the bore is perfectly centered. So here goes the, the first try at it.
All right, so hopefully you can see it looks like it's, uh, you know, milling okay. It's definitely slow progress. You can see the band on the top where it's milled in slightly. So uh, since this might make the world's most boring video, I'll do some more work on it and see how it progresses and then uh, tune you back in later. So here's what it looks like with the boring on the top half complete. Hopefully you can kind of see that it's a pretty concentric... Um, ring there of remaining material between where I bored out on this end and where I haven't yet. Actually looks like it stayed pretty consistent. Um, not even a not even a bad uh, finish where I milled it. And the diameter here seems relatively consistent. So that's 42.3 at it a couple places around so that's about 42.4 and 42.35 42 42.3 so it seems pretty consistent and it does seem like it, uh, see if I can get the end of the Harbor Freight shaft in the picture here. It looks like it fits pretty well for that first, that first half. Not too much play, about the right amount of play. So now I'm going to uh, mill out that bottom half. Um, and I'm, my, my plan is I can just look down at the top and I can see when I've gotten rid of enough material that the surfaces are starting to mate. So I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see that, but now I've got the drill press set up so the bore is down on that lower uh, ring of material that I have to remove now. So my plan is to just go around in the same fashion. It does take a little patience. It probably took 20-25 minutes or so I'm guessing. Um, I don't have a watch or clock here, but about that amount of time to mill out the top. So it takes some patience and uh, you do get a smoother motion as you get practice going around. Um, so now I'm going to repeat the same thing to the bottom. And my plan is to, in order to get that bottom milled out to the same depth, I can line it up and just see how much material is left on that ridge. <laughs> And to move it around into different locations just to make it more equal because I'm probably not putting equal pressure around it so I want to equalize it by starting at different places on it.
And here's the final result after boring out the other end and trying to feather it in a little bit. You can see a couple little grooves in there, but overall it's uh, better results than I thought it might be. It's pretty pretty smooth and pretty consistent uh, bore all the way through. And then looking at uh, fitment on the tire changer, it's pretty good. It's a little bit, uh, just a little bit of play like you like and fits pretty smoothly and um, rotates around pretty well at all heights. So I'm pretty uh, pretty hap happy with the result. And I think any you know, little bit that it might be out of center would probably matter on a wheel balancer, but on a tire changer it really doesn't uh, make a difference at all. In closing, I was able to get all four of those eBay cones modified to fit the Harbor Freight. This is the largest one. The next next size down. Smaller one. And then the smallest one. And this is of course the uh, Lucid Aluminum centering cone. Um, toward the end, when it, when I started, uh, you know, getting close to um, being the final size, I just want to put, uh, checking the fitment on the post and just looking for enough play and making sure it was, uh, free everywhere, basically. And, uh, again, this was all done using a, uh, carbide burr. You can get these for, I think, about 12 bucks or so on, uh, Amazon.